Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's Michael Johnson TV streaming to you live on the 10th of September 2022 at 10.55 a.m. And we're going to go and in honor of the Grand Prix Cycliste Quebec Montréal race, cycling, pro cycling race that's uh, back in town. I think there was a small hiatus due to COVID and uh, a chambouillement, uh, big changes in um, the sporting world associated with that. But uh, yesterday, Friday, was the race in Quebec City, Quebec City. And tomorrow on Sunday, I believe, is the race in Montreal. And I shared uh, recently around one photo that I uh, love from the Montreal race uh, several years earlier. Uh, so I had the pleasure of uh, visiting a friend in Quebec City and uh, checking out the race and had a really awesome time. So I wanted to share, again, a few stories, shenanigans, principles, philosophies, adventures uh, around that. And these are my top six uh, photos of the day. So we'll start with this one. Um, this is the really the one of the big landmarks of Quebec City, of course, there are many, many, many landmarks of Quebec City, a beautiful old center of the city, uh, fortifications, the citadel, uh, you know, there's really like a wall here, wall of green, and there's a funicular actually that goes down into the bottom into the old city. So this was my first target. And, you know, unfortunately, <laughs> there was like a lot of scaffolding on the on the Chateau Frontenac that year. This year is different. I'm going to show you on Facebook some of the official photos. All right, that's this is what I was going for. Okay, I wanted, you know, I knew what I wanted. I wanted the riders tall right up against the, the Chateau Frontenac um, in the distance, uh, like you can see here. But to do this, you got to get close and you got to be on the ground. Like I showed uh, the other day, you got to be on the ground pointing upwards Probably a reasonable wide angle here to catch the riders uh, coming through. And I'll share a few stories about why I didn't manage to get that photo. And here they are so far away coming at you like a, like marching ants, you know. But this is kind of like, this is kind of nice-ish, you know. Got a nice background here. But again, I wanted the riders to be big up against, uh, up against the Chateau Frontenac. Uh, and I'll show you the story behind that right now. So the first thing to do, right, is planning. Got a plan. Got to plan a shoot like this. And, you know, you don't have to plan every single minute. But, you know, I knew basically the landmarks of Quebec City. And I knew roughly where I wanted to position myself uh, to get those landmarks. While not having to walk too far either. Because uh, basically they do... How many, how many rounds do they do here? I don't know. Um, 16 times around, right? So they start here. They're going to do this whole circuit. This is pretty flat here, rolling. It goes down, up, goes really down hard here. It's flat here, flat, 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 boom. Like it climbs up here, going through the old city. Really a lot of turns, a lot of twists and turns, and then it's flat here, and then there's the finish line, uh, the start-finish line uh, right here. So the Chateau Frontenac is sort of around here, uh, here, I think. So I knew one spot was going to be right here. Uh, and that's the first photo that I show. And so I'll show you on uh, Google Maps, because this was pretty fun here. So this is old Quebec, Quebec City. Let me zoom out. Yeah. Woo, there's, oh, there's Montreal over there. Here's Quebec City. Zoom into the old part of the city, and we'll use the wonders of Google Earth. Here's the Chateau Frontenac. So... I knew that the riders would be coming along this road, Boulevard Champlain, all the way, boom, 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 turning right and going down here. So I knew I wanted to position myself right here, really in the turn, near the turn here, get low and get that Chateau Fontenac in the distance, right? Um, but again, if you get back, <laughs> there they are in the distance. There's the Chateau in the distance, but I didn't really get the photo that I was going for. And let me show you uh, a bit behind the scenes of why that was so. So let me undo these uh, filters here and go back here. We'll kind of go back to the beginning. Here we go. This this is showing you what's uh, what's up. So here we go. I arrive. I get set up. There's my bag. Right? There's my little backpack and my day bag. 
right? So I'm kind of in the middle of the street. There's like some cones over here. There's actually traffic coming behind me, but you kind of got a bit of space here. There's some police, you know, directing traffic. And I think I arrived for the first or second of the, um, of the rounds uh, that they were doing. So here I am, nobody there yet, but I'm waiting here, waiting here. And you can follow the, the status of the race, you know, live on your phone or on the radio or whatever. Uh, but generally, you know, there's like police cars that'll come circulating through there. So I'm already, you know, I'm fully set up to get down on the ground, lying down on the ground with my camera as low as possible, zooming in, you know, zooming in here, getting the ah, getting the the Chateau Frontenac with the riders when they come zooming here uh, close by. Unfortunately, right as we're as we're going, I'm just testing out some things. I'm like waiting. Okay, there's some motorcycles coming through, testing it out. Okay, there's a car. See, that's where you need to be. These are professional photographers. Okay, they know what they're doing, and I was in the same place, ready to do this, to get some kick-ass photos, but at the last minute, the very last minute, police officer comes by and kind of cleared people out of the way here. I don't know, I was like, what the hell, like, okay, uh, déplacez-vous, déplacez-vous, get back. So, you know, I obeyed, uh, and then these pros, you know, once the riders were really coming through, the pros came up to the line, got down, got set up. I kind of looked around, did the same, and then one or two of them kind of yelled at me, hey, get out of here, you're going to, you know, the cops are going to come, they're going to chase us out of here, get the fuck out of here, and I was like, okay, fine, just because you're a pro, I'll respect you, I was like, afterwards I was pissed off, I'm like, fuck that, anyways, but, you know, I did what I did, so this is what you need to do in order to get uh, this type of a photo, so I wasn't able to do that, well, I chose not to do that, and uh, then I was stuck with uh, these kind of photos. So you can see all the riders coming through. Still pretty nice. I mean, it's a beautiful backdrop, uh, but unfortunately, yeah, didn't quite get exactly the photo that I was hoping to get from that spot. And then I had a problem with my focus. <laughs> the riders are blurry. The background's in focus. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So just on the technical side, you know, this is about 28 millimeters, so reasonable wide angle and you get, you know, a good collection of riders. If I'd been down on the ground there, this would be, this would have been awesome. Kind of like this. So I love this, this photo. Maybe there's a bit too much space at the top, you know, like it just a bit more cropped in, but Hey, that's just me. So yeah, there I am with all the fencing in the way. This is kind of what you're looking for. Really. You want to be on the ground. I thought, okay, maybe the riders coming through with this part in the background, but I think uh, it didn't quite work out as I had hoped. Because, um, yeah, on, that's the other thing. Through the corners, right, the right, I was, th I thought there'd be riders here that would be up against this building and it would be awesome. But in the end, they were streaming through so fast, they were really over to the side of the street. So not really in the background that I was looking for. So there we go. As they come through. I mean, at this point, you're kind of setting up your composition and just almost like click 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 you know just trying to get a lot of it is just random i mean what kind of colors are coming through you know how many riders there are this kind of thing so yeah just having fun okay this is the next uh the next location so not only you know you got to know the map and as i said that first place i was down here uh, i'll go back to the google maps so Location number one was right at this corner with these buildings in the back, the greenery and the Chateau Frontenac. Next location, so again, they, it's so beautiful, uh, Quebec City, I just love it. This is kind of the lower part, the old city, and then the upper part of the old city. There's really a wall, there's like, this is the citadel, it's a really, a, you know, a fortification there with a big park over here. So the next location that I was looking up was they basically go here, here, then they climb up this, then this, right, Côte de la Montagne, like boom, they're going straight up this, uh, this thing is really steep. So there's a nice little bridge over here, kind of a gate to the city. So this is steep, steep, steep. So they're going to be spread out in a long, long, long line. So this was kind of my next uh, target, um, targeted location. And you can see some nice photos from the pros there. This is the other coming up the hill. You know, the unfortunate thing is there's a lot of people here also, and depends on the time of day and the illumination. Uh, so when you, whoops, when you go 
to the other side, then yeah, there's, there's tons of people on, on this gate here trying to trying to get that picture, trying to watch, you know, trying to have fun, of course, and enjoy the day, enjoy the ride. So here's where I was. That's from the gate, from that gate. You can see that little, uh, I think it's a restaurant, Le Vendôme. But it was really uh, harsh lighting. It was quite quite sunny that day. And um, yeah, there comes the motorcycle, here come the riders, you know, so they're kind of strung out along the side. It's kind of neat. I mean, it's cool, but it's like a lot of black and a lot of construction again on the side. So I didn't like that sequence of photos uh, that much. Um, but it was a nice, uh, a nice location, a nice spot to get from that gate here. So that's a good spot. Yeah. And then, I don't know, I walked around the old part of the city a little bit, just looking for nice views, nice locations. Yeah, this is the kind of architecture that you see all around the old Quebec. So from the back, from the front, yeah, there's a bit of boring stuff. Here we go. This is the next uh, location. So I knew I wanted to play around in this uh, park here. So here we'll, we'll leave the old city for now. So this was the first one. Then they come up this road. They go do some stuff. You know, you don't want to walk too far either. I mean, it's a pretty long uh, trajet. It's uh, how far is it? 13 kilometers by for each turn. So I wanted to sort of focus in this area. Uh, you know, let them go off and have their fun over here and come back and go over in here. But really, I was I was focused in this area. You don't want to be walking too much. And you got to be conscious. You only get one shot every time, right? So typically, I'll stay here for like two turns, you know, and then move to a new location, wait for them. Okay, they come through, move to the next location, wait for them. Okay, they've come through, right? Doing that over and over until you're either tired, exhausted, or the race is over, uh, right? So um, the next location over here, this is a beautiful park, the Plains of Abraham, a lot of concerts here, festivals, and I knew that there was a potentially a good alignment with this building right here, which is the Parliament Building of Quebec, and this tower on the, par on the Parliament Building. So I set myself up. I knew the riders would be coming through kind of here, I think, down this road. They turn here, and then they come through here or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. Somewhere, I think it was around here. Yeah, so you can see here, and then I'm trying to catch this tower there. So we go back to Lightroom. You can see that here. Boom, here come the riders. A bit of the tower in the background. Again, I'm down on the ground, uh, pointing my camera up, trying to get, you know, trying to get them as big as possible in the foreground, lined up with kind of some some nice background. I mean, that's kind of again always the the principle that I'm operating on. And you can see I'm maybe I'm slightly down a hill at this point with a bit of grass at the bottom, but really trying to get low. Right here, you can see that's you know the big. They want I want them to be big in the foreground with with some nice background uh here they come coming through coming through so this is kind of nice yeah this was a nice one you know framed by some of the trees the quebec flag the parliament some of the nice copper roofs and and all the riders so that was a good spot there again just uh, take a bunch of them and then they leave the other way and then people were out walking having fun riding along you know <laughs> trying to keep up <laughs> not even keeping up no way you could keep up with those riders not a chance in hell again there was like some nice long lines here this was a canadian rider i don't remember his name but um with his nice jersey some nice you know long perspectives also you can imagine so here i was somewhere around here looking towards the towards there but as they come through here you know with trees in the back or or over here they're coming they're coming down this road so you could set up here and get some nice trees in the background that's kind of what i tried to do here again just being conscious of the lighting in the background and uh yeah it was a bit tough it was quite um quite sunny uh, that day so here's a bunch of riders coming through but yeah lots of stuff there and then yeah you could see them from far away and at some point, I wanted to start practicing uh, my slow shutter speed um, technique. So here I am trying to pan and follow this. So I set up somewhere. I think I set up. Uh, where were they coming through here? Let me just get rid. Oh yeah, down here. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, they they come down here, down here. So the other. I think the other photos were more taken here, trying to get 
alignment with these. Yeah, you see these buildings and the tower. So they come down here, turn here, come down here. So then I walked kind of down and I'm just standing down a little bit of an embankment here with some nice trees in the background and the riders are really coming fast at this point. So I'm really trying to, trying to do a pan and follow them so that they're in focus and the background's blurry. And it was a nice spot. It was kind of dark in the background, picking up the highlights on, on the riders like that. So that was cool. I love this one. These guys got a really tough job. I mean, they're zooming down like when it's downhill and then got to go uphill. Like, wow, it takes a, it takes a very skilled uh, motorcyclist. Well, of course, a police on a motorcyclist got to be extremely skilled, but this is a nice one. I love this one. Yeah. So that's, 60th of a second, F13, ISO 100. So again, the, the philosophy behind this is that I'm tracking that the subject as they're coming close to me. Maybe I'm zooming in and out and I'm click, 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 and I'm setting up really low ISO, high F number in order to enable a proper exposure at a low shutter speed of like a 60th, 50th, 40th of a second here, like a 60th was pretty good because I'm moving fast. I'm panning and they're going fast also. So then you can see that the difference in motion between uh, they're pretty, they're pretty still and in focus relative to the background that's uh, streaming by. So this is a cool technique. It's tough. I mean, it's random. I mean, really, like I did a bunch of them. Oh, I don't know what happened here. No, this is somebody else just watching. So I'm kind of like this guy, I'm down the embankment, just a little bit down the embankment. Click, 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 click. Off we go. Click, click, click. I'm trying to focus, right? I'm following them basically. Look at this blue, the blue guy here in the middle. I'm kind of zooming in here. I'm at 55, I'm maxed out. So I'm just panning and taking photos as they stream past, hoping that I got my focus set up that I, you know, all, the, all of these factors. And this one was good. Yeah, this was a nice one with the Canada rider on the side and off they go. Another motorcyclist. No, the photo photographers on the back of those motorcycles. Oh my God, that's a really, really wild uh, ride they must be having. So hello, waving. Yeah, see, that's a pretty good one, but eh, the subject's kind of boring anyway. So there they come again. Maybe I waited like one or two tours. No, I think there was a breakaway group actually that went ahead. Um, yeah, so not many of these really worked out that well, but you don't expect that many to work out that well actually because they're going damn fast. Here I'm at an 80th of a second. It's really blurry, but they're also blurry unfortunately. So there's my backpack. There's the van. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, practicing with the van. He wasn't driving that quickly, I don't think. So that was the other third spot of the day. Yeah, I spent some time down there, didn't I? Yeah, really spent a lot of time there playing around. Yeah, but there was one good one. So, you know, you get one good one from that pack, then, you know, then we're happy. I think I chilled in the shade at some point because it was damn hot. It was damn sunny. So where are we now? Yeah, here we're at the turn. So let's go back to the map. Again, for that streaming down here, and I'm taking them here, trying to get that nice blur effect. Then I walk back up here, and here's where they come down, and they turn here. So there's, you know, there's going to be barricades set up here, and I'm kind of set up down here and really looking this way. For And, and then you can see the barricades. Again, trying to get low, 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 zoom up, get the trees as they come through. Yeah. Not sure I got to say they're in the dark here. It's bright in the background, so it's not that great, but kind of nice. Yeah, so that's kind of nice, you know, a bit of a nice trees overhanging. And again, the riders, you know, the principal subject of the photo is supposed to be the riders. So you want to be low so that they take up a lot of the frame. And I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again saying that, but you know, this is true. This is true. You got to get low. So here's another one, get low. I knew there, this was another kind of landmark of, uh, of Quebec City, this hotel here in Le Concorde. Beautiful views. You know, if you get on the, the um, which side, the east side of, the, of this hotel, you got a nice view at sunset. You'll have the sun setting over the old city. So I knew they'd be streaming down this, right? The, the start finish was somewhere around here. And I knew they'd be streaming up here fast, turning here, turning here. So I wanted to set up something with this building in the, in the background. Again, the same way earlier I wanted to have the, the hotel 
in the background with the riders taking up you know a lot of the frame that's that's what i was shooting for um here so again i'm on the ground underneath the like i felt the wind and the dirt and the dust it was like on my face i was like oh this is it was limit like it was actually limit uh almost uh dangerous but uh, i wasn't uh passing the line too far but really i was under under the barricade with my camera and my head on the ground pointed up you know zoomed out 35 millimeters and just click 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 trying to trying to get something good while the guys were coming through so right that's what you need right get low get wide and get your four, you know, the guy looks bigger than the hotel and that's awesome. I mean, wow, it looks big. Like, well, no, he's normal size. It's just, it's a wide angle and he's close. So he looks bigger and the hotel looks smaller. So that's what we're up to there. Yeah. That was like, Oh, first shot. Uh, got a, got a good one. Then the rest of the team's coming through again. So, right. Let me show you here. These are the barricades, typical barricades. People are standing on them. My head is here. <laughs> basically take the picture uh right that's what it takes uh to get that kind of a perspective otherwise right if you're just taking normal pictures and you're not down low zoomed out this is just like a rider and a bunch of asphalt like boring boring you got to get low find a different view so ah here we are so this is the start finish line just kind of walked along the start finish line chatting to people right during the breaks quote like breaks in between when the riders pass by wherever i am you know you're going to walk to the next location so they pass through then i walk along the start finish line there's music it's a big party there's fun stuff and you know i i arrived there and didn't quite have a good location so here we are but it's kind of nice that's the start finish line they're all strung out pretty good pretty good you could crop this guy out maybe boom yeah that'd be a nice one yeah just the exertion my god it's pretty awesome i love cycling cycling is a special special sport uh, for me so but what i wanted to show you was now let's just keep going here we're chilling ah here we are there's the next location so let me go back to the map we talked about this hotel again this was the they were stream i think the the start finish line was like here okay so there's another gate again the, the, the city is really like a gated city and there's these fortifications and one of the gates is here saint louis uh and there's a sort of a bridge now over there so this was i knew again i knew this location i knew the old quebec city pretty well i knew the route right looking at the route so i knew i could get up onto the top of this um gate here and have a good view looking because they'd be coming from here all the way up here so i'd have a long view of the riders coming through so actually what i did is i climbed really i put my bag on the bottom climbed in between these sort of parapets i guess they're called uh here and there weren't too many people here at this gate actually i was surprised so that's also part of it is you know finding those places where you got space to breathe a little bit uh no that was not that gate it was this gate a different gate so Go back to Lightroom. This is me. You can see me here, right? I'm taking a picture, <laughs> a little sort of a, a hidden selfie. Uh, again, it was quite bright, but it's neat. Like nice buildings, a little bit of shadow, and then they're but they're going fast here, so they're going to be really, really, really spread out. Um, and there were a few other people. You can see some shadows there, but I, I had I staked it out and I had a good location right at the front, so I could get some good pictures with nobody in the way. So here come the riders. Boom. That's me. That's like they're riding over my shadow. Like it's so cool. That was really fun. That was a good spot. Oh, he just rode over my shadow. Yeah. So yeah, again, like interesting, nice photo. Chateau Frontenac in the background. Right? Again, I'm composing it that way to have the riders, some trees, some buildings. I mean, it's nice that there's these trees on the side and the shadows, and you can go all, you can look all the way back and then kind of stay in the picture. And oh, there's Chateau Frontenac. So that's kind of fun. I like the. That was a good spot. Then after that, I was just more down at ground level, playing around, chatting with people, having some fun. And uh, what's the next one? Let's go to the three stars. Oh yeah, we did this one. We did this one. Yeah, just again at ground level, it's kind of nice, but there's a lot of asphalt in the middle. So again, I could have got low, zoom in, get them against a building. That's kind of, oh, that was always my 
my philosophy of uh, of those photos. So let's turn off the filter and see where we are. Oh yeah, then then this was underneath the gate. So you can see the shadow here in the in the form of the gate. I was playing again with the um, trying to get a nice uh, blurred uh, background there, and it worked sort of okay. Yeah, as they come out into the sun, this was kind of nice. This was a nice spot here. There were several photographers uh, at this spot. So this was kind of nice, but again, it was challenging and uh, a bit difficult. But I like this one. Just, uh, yeah, just like, boom, like the must, just like holding on for dear life. You know, I remember, I mean, I did cycling, did racing, riding in Peloton, and it was like around grad school days and late university days when I discovered uh, road cycling, thanks to my to my buddy. Uh, and uh, always always something special there. I really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, that feeling of being on the back of the Peloton and just, quote, suffering, just trying to hold on for dear life. You know, once you, once you lose that wheel, you know, you got extra air friction and you got l loss of motivation. You know, it's hard to catch up once you've, uh, once you lost the wheel of the, of the guy in front of you. So yeah, that again, that was, yeah. So this was the gate. I was under the gate and then I was above the gate before. So this one, I love, I like this one. Yeah. 80th of a second F16 ISO 400. I could have dropped the ISO had a bit, not so severe of a, a closed F number and a, and a reasonable shutter speed. But again, the, the philosophy here is setting it up so that you have a shutter speed around an 80th, 60th, depends on how fast they're moving also. The slower they're moving, the slower you want your shutter speed, in other words, like more like a 30th of a second. But at some point, it's hard to not get them blurry also. So it's it's uncertain, it's random, and you got to just play with it. So in this case, right there, he's pretty good. He's in focus, right? The wheels are spinning, the background's moving. That's that's the look really that you're that you're looking for with that with that type of photo. And the rest is kind of boring. And oh yeah, the obligatory like traffic chaos picture after the race as I'm walking back to to get some food. I mean, there were some roads were closed and it was just like this chaos. And I look at this picture and I'm just like, how many people are stuck in these buses, right? How many cars are there and how many, probably all the cars, all the people in the cars in this photo could fit on one bus. But anyway, hashtag urban rant, that is a rant for another day. And for now, we'll go back to the beauty and share with you all of these lovely photos. Thank you so much for streaming in. Anything more to say? No, that was the gate. Yeah, again, know your location. Get there early, get set up, and don't take any crap from somebody who tells you, you can't be there. Okay, you can't be there either. So, you know what I mean? Uh, at some point, I was just, okay, I'll, I won't go there, and I missed a nice photo. And the worst that would have happened is the police would have said, hey, it's not safe. Please step back. Okay, yes, sir, I'll step back. Um, but anyway, there we are. So maybe next time I'll stream the Montreal portion because uh, we wish all the riders good luck tomorrow in the race for the Grand Prix Cycliste de Montréal. So thanks so much for tuning in to the stream. I wish you well, be well, have fun, find the beauty and get low, zoom out, zoom in, play around, find fun stuff, share the beauty with the world and take care. See you next time on the stream. MichaelJohnson.tv. Ciao, ciao.